Hey guys, Hannah here from hannahsmilitaria.com and I'm back with another World War II Connected video. Today I'm going to be showing you this 1918 model field measuring device. Now, this is going to take the place of any modern day ohmmeter or voltmeter and the reason I'm so excited to show it to you is because right now these are still pretty easy to find and relatively inexpensive. So let's say you watch this video and decide you want to add one to your collection. It shouldn't be too painful to do. Okay, first things first, let's close this up and flip it over. You're going to get into the back by removing this panel right here. And there are two different sections. The first side is going to hold your test wire. And the second side is going to hold your battery pack. Now, I just went on Amazon and picked up AA battery adapters and soldered them in here. If you've ever seen a field phone video of mine, I stress that it doesn't matter which plug or terminal your cords for your phone are plugged into, but that is not the case with this. Your red cord needs to be soldered on here. Your black wire needs to be soldered on here. Now that this is powered, I'm going to put this back on. We're going to turn it over. Let's go through these terminals one at a time. These first two up here are for an external battery. Let's say you didn't have a battery in the back. This is powered on four and a half volts, so you would go ahead and connect your wires here. Now, because I already have a battery in the back, we're just gonna go ahead and test this. There is a test button right here, much the same as the FF33 field phone has a white test button on the top. I'm just gonna depress this, and it's gonna show that I have about five volts, which is correct. So I know that this is functioning and accurate. These two terminals and this button are to test your ohms. I'm gonna go ahead and plug these two wires in here. We're gonna test some conductivity. So I have an Opspooler. All of the German wire reels and carriers were designed to use for a partial roll-up. So let's say that you needed 20 feet of wire. You wouldn't have to cut your cord at 20 feet or completely unspool it. The other end of the wire is grounded to this, so you should just be able to plug one side of your ohm meter in to the top. Find the end of the wire, hold it together, and press this button right here. Now this shows a change, which means that this 80-year-old wire has not been compromised and the ohm meter is working. Okay, let me unplug this and we'll move on to volts. All four of these dials are dealing with your volts. The first one is always your positive. So I'm going to plug one wire into the positive. We're going to look at the rest of them. This one says 6 volts, this one says 60 volts, and this one says 300 volts. Let's say you're testing a 1.5 volt battery. Because it's under 6 volts, you're going to plug your other wire into the 6 volt terminal. Let's say you're testing a 9 volt battery. Because it is 9 volts, which is over 6 and under 60, you're going to plug that second wire into the 60 volt terminal. So let's start by testing the one and a half volt battery. I'm going to plug this in to the six volt terminal. Remember, positive to positive on this. Negative to negative. And this is showing I have exactly one and a half volts. Okay, let's move on and test our 9-volt battery. I'm going to unplug this from the 6-volt terminal. I'm going to plug it into the 60-volt terminal. Positive to positive. Negative to negative. And this is showing that I have just under 1 volt, but because we've gone up from 6 volts to 60, 
that one counts as a 10, so it's showing that I have nine volts, which is correct. All right, now there are two other dials on here. I believe that these are to fine tune and calibrate this device. However, unfortunately, I haven't been able to find out any information about it. If you have any resources that I haven't been able to find, please drop a comment or reach out to me on my website. Otherwise, I hope this has been informative. Press that subscribe button for more videos, and I look forward to doing this again soon. Thank you for being here.